Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as Steroids because why not? And I'm going to go with the double Kraken, I think. I could go with the double Lance, to be honest. That would be nice. Um, oh, wait, I don't have the double unlocked. Okay, we are definitely going to try and unlock the, uh, the double to start with here. Um, do I want to go with the Lance then or like the Dead Glove? I could go with a Dead Glove to start. That could be kind of nice. Yeah, let's go with a Dead Glove to start and try this out. Um, of course, with that. Yeah, okay, so you do just start with two of the same, I see. I forgot about that. Wait, how does how does this actually work with this? Oh my god, I like it. Okay, we need extra feet. So heckin' bad, because this, this setup with extra feet would be awesome. <laughs> so give it to me. Give it to me very quickly. Um... What do we want to go for to start with? Let's just go with classic rabbit paw to start with. See if that does anything good for us. But yeah, this, it could be, oh my god. I didn't even mean to do that. I just accidentally deflected that guy's explosion right back into him. Honestly, not sure how this is going to go because this guy is um, a rootin' tootin' cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be... I'm sticking with it, but that's going to be a boss fight that we probably die on numerous times before we get a run going in this episode, so... Stick with me. Stick with me. I have a plan. I have a plan. I may seem like an invalid, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Give me the extra feet. Um, firing with one weapon. Okay, that's not amazing. Let's go with Hypersomnia this time, because that's going to be pretty good for clearing out a lot of this stage before we have to deal with many of these enemies. In fact, we literally cleared out the entirety of this stage. My god, we managed to almost kill the boss. I'm out of ammo, damn it. I wasn't expecting that. No. Oh, wait. The other weapon got taken as well. Okay, I've got nine ammo to deal with this guy. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was scary. Oh, we need extra feet so bad. Where is it? Where is it? Let's go with adrenaline fuel. Okay, big fish boy. I don't know how the fish is going to go, to be honest. The fact that he stays asleep gives me hope. Yep, gives me a lot of hope. Good stuff. Right, once we level up, we can get it. We just have to make it through this stage, which, honestly, on its own... Wait, why aren't we moving? Okay, that was weird. The dead glove is, is doing some strange stuff. This boss is going to be pretty awful to, to, to take out, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Toxic Launcher here and uh, just just take him out with that. Because I think it's going to be way more plausible. Yep. Get my glove back. Right, we've leveled up. We're good to go. Let's do it. Extra feet. Where art thou? I always lose extra feet. There it is. Okay, that's one of our uh, cho choices. I've been doing a lot of melee recently, and I've been enjoying the hell out of it. <laughs> Did that just steal my weapon? Are you actually goddamn kidding me? I better get that weapon back when I spawn in here, otherwise there will be hell to pay. Okay, thank god. I was almost very upset. <laughs> almost very upset, I promise you I would have... I would have thrown down. But, we have a setup now. Honestly, Hypersomnia is making this so much better as well. <laughs> care of little fella. Okay, 
flame on that bad boy as well. Dude, having two of these, I never even considered how good it would be. I never even considered how good it would be. It's truly something. Straight away we got this. I wonder if the developer, like, was this a combination that was thought about and planned, or did it just kind of happen like this? Did it just kind of turn out this way? And you're like, okay, cool, that's really interesting, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm interested to know. Right, through here we go. Right, keep adding stuff to this. Just, it's so much defense and so much offense in one. The double Mr. Fister is what you shall call me. There's something taking damage over here, and I'm not sure what. Why did I spawn so far away from all the enemies there? That was kind of evil. Right. Just be careful, because this guy... I can't destroy all of his shots. I'm going to destroy a lot of them, but not all of them. We are speeding through right now. Didn't kill these guys in one hit. I'm upset. Let me throw the crown vault straight away. Dude, we've weapon modded up so goddamn fast here. <laughs> We've got full weapon mods already. That was somewhat unexpected. We level up as well. Good, good. I don't even know what I want from my level up at this point. Uh, Plutonium Hunger is potentially pretty good. Um, each kill increases, red, uh, increases drop rate, all weapon reload speed. Do you know... That could be... In I don't really use Rage that much anymore, but with, with these for the extra fire rate, it could be really good if we can, like, go a while without getting hit. Dude, you can stop spawning me so far away from the action when I have Insomnia on. Hypersomnia, whatever it's called. It's doing it on purpose. It knows. Yeah, if we can build up a good amount of rage, could be could be something special. I do wish the rage indicator wasn't the way it was. It like it like starts off super thin and then gets more like opaque. I wish it was like always there, but like it like filled up or something, so it was a little easier to see what rage you were on rather than it being like barely visible most of the time. I don't know what other people think about that. I think it'd be easier to sort of recognize when you're getting the most out of it sort of thing. Hypersomnia. My god. It's killing it right now. It is killing it right now. Through we go. Big bat. You don't know what hit you. Definitely go with trigger fingers here. Just absolutely wreck the whole stage. Unfortunately, I have made a mistake and I have used all my ammo. But luckily, the game is kind <laughs> and gave me some ammo back pretty quickly. Taken care of. Let us leave this place. We're almost up to max rank already. Does Eagle Eyes do anything for us at this stage? I don't think it's likely. Um, I guess I go for Gamma Guts as a just in case. Gonna need some more ammo yet again. Ooh, see, that's why we took Gamma Guts right there. That saved us. Not having Gamma Guts there would have been terrible. Would have lost a lot of rage as well, which would have been even sadder. Where we go again? We got Ultra. Is anything going to be good for us here? Um, 
Weapon chests drop two of the same weapon. Firing while having two of the same weapon slowly heals you. Um, chance depends on reload time and ammo cost. Okay, that's kind of good. Um, ammo chests include all ammo. Um, an infinite... You can carry an infinite amount of ammo. Ammo boxes above max decrease over time. Uh, sorry, ammo above max. The more total under ammo you have, the more knockback you deal. Swapping weapons makes you swing with your weapon. Eh. Right click fires your primary, swapping reloads your weapons. More bullet damage. I think I'm going to try this one out with the extra ammo and stuff. Um, let's go with... Instead of fire, let's go with Kraken on this. I'm a bit worried for the boss, I'll be honest. I don't think I have the right ammo and setup for the boss. Supercharged bow. Yeah, like, let's see how this goes, but I think we we're probably going to have some ammo issues on this boss here. I love the way this guy rolls. You do your thing, good sir. You do your thing. Yeah, we might have a bit of an issue getting through. Okay, the knockback is uh, apparent. As I said, we're going to have ammo issues, but he should spawn enough ammo for it to be okay. I think. Yeah, we're, that was that was not too bad. I'm curious to see how it's going to go when we have this unlimited ammo thing going on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that was really close. Thank god he didn't do damage there, that would have been bad. Right. You wanting to die, good sir? Really, I can't quite reach that ammo. That's annoying. Dude, put ammo where I can reach it. That was just mean. Okay. Right, we can get our double weapons now. There you go. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? I was like, excuse me. I just went silent. I was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> you little prankster. That, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, um, excuse me. What kind of bug is this? Turns out it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. It's kind of funny. I'm actually surprised we haven't gone over max ammo yet. Right, I'm, I'm basically now I'm looking for better gloves. If I can get better gloves, then I'll take them. Insomnia just makes this so much easier. Do okay. Okay. Now the you can go over max ammo, but it like slowly decays. Nah. Let me let me let me just let me just one minute. Once, we, once I finish this stage, let me read it what the ultra does again. Cause I'm a little skeptical here. Ultra. Um Ammo above max decreases over time. Yeah. Bullshit. It literally instantly saps it all. There's basically no point in that existing. Like, that might as well not be part of the description, because it saps so quickly you never get to goddamn users. Terrible. I thought it was going to be like, decays kind of slowly over time, not just like, it's instantly gone. Don't have a lot of ammo left at the minute, though. The fact that Insomnia stops um, stops enemies from doing their on-death effects right now is, is saving our lives so much.
Infinity machine gun. Why would anyone want the infinity weapons? They're high tier, but like... I don't know, maybe it's just a backup, just so you always have some ammo, but like, on the on loops, you're not going to be wanting to use something like that, really, are you? Got a lollipop there. Lollipop's not great. I want I want more uh, glove weapons. I know there's some high tier gloves, but I'm just not seeing them. This is the, literally the lowest tier of glove, but I'm not getting what I want right now. Cool. Keep it going. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm enjoying this run. This runs a funnin'. I had an idea, and immediately the idea started to work. I can enter it, excuse me. What? <laughs> what the hell's this? How have I never done this before? How did I not know about this? <laughs> Can I get in this next van as well? I can't. Okay, fair. <laughs> well then, where am I going to go from here? As soon as, yeah, I was just about to say, as soon as they start firing, I think I'm screwed. Well, that was kind of interesting. I mean, it's a short episode. I know that we have these on occasion, but that, that run kind of went the distance. That was, that was a fun one. We got into loop one. I've never been there before. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. That's, that's intriguing. I'm just discovering, like, how have I played this mod for so long and I'm still discovering entirely new things? I wonder where this leads then. I wonder if there's, like, a new boss at the end of that. I wonder how long that's even been in the game. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy that one, even if it is a shorter episode. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.